and start and fight to add in truth to lies gotta get up stop wasting time yeah i wanna run off and fly and i tell myself it's fine to be alone just to find somewhere that finally feels like home oh, oh, oh. I Live with David and Ryan here, at Bricks and Minifigs. Can you guys all hear us? Okay, please let us know. Um, we've been running all sorts of different audio stuff over here, just trying to make sure that it's uh, it's gravy. So don't worry yeah, about. Yeah, we don't uh, want to have any problems. <laughs> everything else from earlier. So yeah, please let us know in the comments if you can hear us. Get this day going. I'm sure you guys are excited. We're excited to show you some really cool builds we we got in over the past few hours and last night. You know, because some people are. Doing it in the last night as well, which is great. You know, head start. Okay. So, you know, if you could hear us all right, let us know. And Looks like everybody can hear us right now, so I can hear sweet. us. So that's good. So how's everybody on this <laughs> rainy day? Uh, it's gloomy. Yeah, we had some crazy storms last night. Yeah. Oh, my God. The rain last night was crazy. I was like, I don't even – part of me was like, well, it's kind of soothing. But part of me was like, that's, that's some rain right there. Like <laughs> – my room is on the back window, yeah. the back wall of the house, so like everything was coming on the south end, I believe. I'm not going to lie, I was up uh, playing some video games really, really late last night, so I saw all the thunder and stuff coming in, oh, so it was kind of nuts, yeah. Saw all the lightning. And my room is dark, so as soon as I got the curtain over, I was like, I don't know what's <laughs> going on outside, I just hear it, so. Yeah, if you, if you guys haven't, uh, haven't figured it out yet, my son Christopher is back joining us today. He's been working on uh, a special build that uh, he might try to show you guys a little bit later. Um, you might be able to or might not be able to hear him through our headsets or maybe yeah, we'll give him one we, of our headsets. We don't know. And he can, he, maybe I'll give him Dave's headset. He could be a guest commentator. How about that? Will that work? <laughs> he could be a guest. I don't know about the commentating much. <laughs> uh, I the volume's a little – who's uh, – is it uh, – Caden, is any certain person a little low or is it just everyone overall? Because I could turn that up for sure. So if uh, – so we're just going to do a test, test, test. Do you hear me okay? Test, test. Dave, you want to talk? Just Hello, sure. testing, testing. Yoo-hoo. <laughs> I'm something like that dude from Frozen. <laughs> what did you say? I'm she says say everyone. Oh, everyone. Okay. Okay. Well, so that we can uh, fix. We're just going to up. Uh, let's audio voice yeah. later. Best. We can hear you. Okay. But we're just low on the volume. All right. Okay. How about that? Is that a little bit better now? Awesome. All right. Let's go to Thank you. Volume the TV. <laughs> no, sometimes, uh, we, we, like I said, we've got a lot of audio mixers and stuff going on right now just to make sure that uh, everything's going in there okay. How's it going, Marie? Kurt, welcome back again, sir. Um, Sarah, my wife is and co owners watching at home. Christopher says hello. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Um, so anyway, um, just to let you guys know, um, our website, which I didn't get uh, set up, well, maybe it's still here. Our website is currently available. Oh, I loaded so much faster now. Um, it's uh, bricks and minifigs dot or uh, Bamcrest Hill, sorry, Bamcrest Hill dot my ncr silver dot com. That is our new uh, web store, which should get posted here shortly. Here. Um, and uh, so the link is right below. We did get a lot of um, different sets and stuff added yeah, on to it the other day. Like 65 yesterday we yeah. went through. Yeah, we definitely got a lot of sets put on. So. He was in here because his computer was done. So Working, I was in the man. room just like calling out numbers like, <laughs> 254, 5. Yeah, just boxes and boxes and boxes of Lego. So um, we added a lot of our Star Wars sets on there uh, right now. We've got a lot of our City and Creator champions, sets. City and Creator. Speed Champions, I think I still have to finish today. Oh, yeah, no, right now. Right. Uh, But I will say, we do have both the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis in stock now. So those are the harder harder to find sets. Um, the Lamborghinis took us about two months to get back in. 
Um, mm-hmm. So we do have them available. I got two boxes. Ooh, two of so them. I think there's, uh, what, six sets? Six of Lamborghinis, if I remember right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. The red and there one, was right? two of the, yeah. And it yeah. Was, no, 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 uh, the Ferrari. But there, oh. we got two boxes of Ferrari, yeah, I think, too. Yeah, that's right. So, um, we definitely got some really cool sets that are up there on our website. Make sure you guys check it out. Um, it is, uh, you buy online and then just pay, uh, pick it up here. Uh, curbside delivery will bring it out yep. to you. Um, when will the certified sets, use sets be posted on the website? Okay. Um, Kurt, great question. We're going to get through, uh, the rest of the, uh, new box sets today. We've got, uh, um, some of the classic sets, Technic sets, and, um, what was the other one that we had left? There was one more, one more thing that we had left to do. Classic, Technic. And We're gonna get oh, Ninjago. we got to get Ninjago on there. Yeah. Um, so we will have those three up there, and then as soon as that's done, um, we're going to start working on the, the retired sets and the certified sets. Um, the only downside is um, we're going to have to find photos for all of those because a lot of them are well retired. Um, so there's not uh, – we don't have a certain um, – we don't have a Fish database for them, so we have to go Google searching essentially to yeah. make sure. Uh, Google searching, really verify that. The, for all of our the, certified sets, mm-hmm. but uh, all of our new in box stuff that's um, somewhat current but also retired, <laughs> we're going to put those up next once we get all the new yeah. product in. Yeah, and, and then, then we'll, after that. We'll, be, we'll definitely be working on uh, the used sets, will be the last thing. Um, so, right now, yeah. if you're looking for a used set, uh, just call us. Um, we we're got. here at noon to four every day. Um, I've been coming in a little bit earlier and staying a little bit later. So just call, um, if we don't happen to be here and you get our best answering machine, um, just leave a message. We'll call you back. Make sure that, uh, you know, you guys get your questions answered. Um, uh, but we do have quite a bit of view sets left, Star Wars sets, um, certified sets, all sorts of stuff left. Yeah, over here in the we have a ton, of, we have a ton of awesome yep. stuff. So feel free to give us a call, ask us about what we got and we can just give you a couple run down what we have and yep. yeah you know you pay for it over the phone or online and we'll just run it out to you, you just come up let us know and then uh for those of you who might have missed it or uh have been here uh, the whole time with us every day um we are on day 12 now of our uh yeah, alpha brick builds contest just about halfway tomorrow's gonna be the halfway point, yeah, halfway point. Da, da, da. Oh, right. um so we've uh we've got that going on and uh we were joined a few days ago by uh jessica reds ewood um who is uh, one of the LEGO uh, Masters contestants. Uh, she joined us live on the stream here. We had a lot of technical difficulties, but, uh, you know, we're taking yeah. that as a big learning experience. And Yep, that's why we're doing a bunch of tests and everything, because that, that first video with her was It was rough. rough. It was, it was, it was rough. rough. Um, so thank you again, Jessica, for bearing with us. Uh, she, was, she stayed with us and Joe talking for like two hours. Um, she's a great girl, a great lady, um, makes some good stuff. Um, and uh, I actually have clearance now to uh, – carry her bows in the store. Um, so I'm currently working with Jessica now to get those uh, bows she's infamous for, um, along with me. maybe some little custom things for us specifically here. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we'll have those here and then available on our website as well as soon as it gets uh, um, sent in. We want to make sure we do the pictures and stuff for everyone. So, um, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was a crazy thing. We're learning from it. Um, on the other side of that too, uh, of course, we are on, I don't even know, day 20 or something of our lockdown <laughs> Chris is trying to squeeze in. You could just ask, dude. <laughs> oh, Mike's phone. Hello. Awesome. So how right. is everybody today? So you guys doing good? You having fun at home? I know a lot of people are like, man, like, David and Ryan, your videos plus just building Lego at home is the only thing we look forward to each day. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of messages from you guys. Uh, We really appreciate getting all those little messages. Um, We always love seeing all the photos and stuff, submissions that you guys uh, turn into us. Just let us know what you guys are building at home. Like, we just love knowing that people are um, still building Lego, having a good time with their family. Um, My boys were all crazy roughhousing and stuff this morning, playing around. Um... My wife, of course, Sarah, is uh, at home doing some work yeah, for us. She took some Star Wars Legos home last night to yeah, she's, they, she's disassemble out, with uh, the boys. I think 10 Star Wars sets she's yeah. trying to certify right now for us So wow. um, while we're doing this and some other ones. <laughs> yeah, Star Wars, Sarah, we know. Um, so uh, we've been doing a lot of things with that. Uh, and, of course, you know, we're on, like, I don't even know what day of our COVID-19 lockdown, if you want to call it. I don't um, know. I don't know. But, I'm sure uh, by next week we'll find out, you know, the extension because it sounds like they're going to do an extension. So. Yeah, and the uh, the word has it that uh, a rumor has it that it's probably going to get extended. Unfortunately, yeah. um, I know I'm, a, I'm not going to say who she works for, but my wife's employer um, is um, <laughs> still, still, still sorting. Um, 
And, uh, but anyway, uh, she got her, um, stay at home work extended out to the end of April already. Um, I have a feeling it's all going to be hitting us as well, that it's going to end up to the end of April. Um, and then, uh, on the side of that, uh, brick news, um, Mark Larson, who is the new head of brick world, essentially, um, sent out an email, like, was it yesterday? Yesterday um, was. About, uh, that they're continually, um, uh, watching the situation going on with the COVID-19, um, coronavirus situation and uh, you know they're they're making sure that they're right now they're still going to have the event but they just don't want to let everybody know that they have until April 30th as of right now to get their full cancellation if they're worried yes um, I have a feeling it's still probably they're still probably going to honor that later on yeah um, if I, something happens I if don't gets pushed back right I don't feel like they're going to cancel Brickworld um, but I mean given us that little update and being like, hey, you know, by April 30th, if you don't hear anything or if you hear something, you're probably getting a refund. Mm -hmm. So I think we're still golden because it's so far out. I mean, like Ryan said, you know, some places are some things are probably going to get extended out to the 30th of April, which which <laughs> makes looks, makes sense. Looks I mean, like, like Joe's wife and mine are trying to hit a little girl's yeah, night out there. Trying so. to plan the girls' don't night the via, <laughs> via our chat. <laughs> yes. Um, Yes, Kurt, we are. Uh, we really hope that Brick World still happens. Um, you know, we've been talking to so many other people, including other um, YouTubers that we know, um, other Lego masters that we know. Yeah. I and mean, everybody's really, really excited about trying to come out to Chicago, so we're really hoping it happens. Um, so um, we're just crossing our fingers, man. Uh, we want to see everybody there. It's going to be the first year that we're actually going to be able to sell there. I'm crossing my fingers and my toes. Um, you can't see it, though. Dave's going to be here with Joe uh, with, the, uh, with Unilug. Mm -hmm. Hanging out over there at, at Brick World, we've got. Uh, I'm yeah, sure I'm gonna be all over the place this year. Like, yeah. I'm gonna be presenting with the Lug Group, and then I'm gonna be here and there with you guys. Working a little bit so with us, you know. We, maybe we also have a big um, possible. Um, what's the word for it? Uh, I'm having a brain fart right now. Charity event. We're having a big charity event, hopefully on that Friday night. As long as I can get it clear with Mark. Um, it's going to be awesome. I'm not going to say who's going to be there or what's, what it's going to be about. Uh, I can say it's probably going to be in the realm of about $20 a person uh, to participate in it. <laughs> Don't mind Dave. He's going to just strangle my kid. It's fine. Um, I've been going for like six years. Yes. Um, everybody keeps talking about uh, the uh, about Brickworld. Yes, we are trying to get into Brickworld. We're trying to make sure that everything's going on. I mean, as of right now, Brickworld is still pretty yep. set. I mean, Brickworld you're is still happening June, there. I'm June 17th to the 21st. If you're going to go for all five days, it's $65 currently, uh, but you do need to get that in soon. I don't remember what the deadline is, but it, the price does keep going up. I thought it was April. Either. Well, normally it was April, but they might have adjusted it now. I don't we know. haven't checked their website yet. Um, but it's Brickworld Chicago or Brickworld.com, um, and then just make sure you go to the Chicago link if you're interested in checking out that event. They have about six different events in the area. Um, between us, Indy, um, Milwaukee, um, Kansas City, I think is another one. So they've got Brick World everywhere. Um, Cindy's asking about the bows. Cindy, we are getting the bows. Um, I've talked to Jessica. We're working it out um, on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, I will be the only store, the only bricks and minifigs, um, and possibly the only brick-and-mortar store carrying those bows, uh, which is really cool. We're working on it with her um, along with Bricks and Minifigs Corporate. Um, so uh, Dave's checking out the prices of Brick World for you. Um, but we are 100% going to get the bows in. We're not sure exactly which bows, uh, we're going to be going with yet or, or if whether or not they're going to have Lego in them or not. Um, Jessica is kind of just going to are working on, uh, possibly a new exclusive design for us. Um, so we got some cool things coming and, uh, it'll be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. Dave's still checking out. Uh, so far nothing's been until I think you have to go under, I can't remember. I think you have to go under Chicago. So just quick. Yeah, so early registration. Do, 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 is, yep. So early registration for the $65 ends April 30th. Um, after that, I want to say it jumps up to either $80 or $100 after that. Yeah, that and then I believe it's close to $100 or $120 at the door if you don't do it until June. For, or until June. Um, so it does get quite a bit more expensive if you don't do it now. So $65, so you get to go all five days. Or else it's fourteen dollars if you just want to go for the Saturday or Sunday experience, mm -hmm. uh, public experience, um, which is ten to four on Saturday and ten to three on Sunday. So, um, from just goes yes, um, 
So, yes. yeah. So, so the bows guys... are from, uh, I know Sarah, my wife is at home. She's trying to explain some things, too. Um, Jessica Ewood is known for having her big, colorful, sparkly bows during uh, Lego Masters. And she is currently selling them on her website, ragzyart.com. It's R-A-G-Z-Y.com. Um, or art.com, sorry. And um, she's got a lot of artwork on there that involves Lego. Um, she's got a lot of uh, her bows and stuff on there. A lot, all Real, sorts of stuff. Ranging from really like twelve to $4,000. It's crazy. Yeah, she's got a lot of really cool stuff. It's definitely worth it. Definitely worth checking out and just looking at it, even if you're not going to purchase it. It's Yep. Some beautiful artwork. So anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and start with our. Uh, our I think we're it's time to start our uh, off brick soup, huh? Off brick, yeah. uh, off brick builds contest. Yeah, we have a whole bunch. Uh, we didn't get as many entries entries this time, but um, we got some really cool ones. Uh, Chris actually helped us pick out the winner this time and a few of his favorites. Off brick builds. Off brick builds. <laughs> I really gotta get. I should have Boone do a. Do a jingle. Do a jingle for us. He's got a pretty cool uh, jingle on his Boone Bills website. It's pretty dope for his April yeah, Live. He does pretty well. He sings pretty good. So we had – let me get back to me here. Five plus here. Okay. Uh, we had uh, about 14 uh, kid submissions today and only two adults. Two. Yeah, two adults. What happened? What, what happened? Were you we, sleeping? We went from 30 kids and what was it, eight or five? Five, five adults? Five adults. To two down to 14 adults. and two. Like, come on, guys. I know it's you know. raining, but... <laughs> it gives you more of an excuse to be inside. I don't know what's wrong, what the problem is. We need more builds. I want more than 30. I want us to go nuts going <laughs> all through these entries and be like, I don't know what to choose. That's right. So we're going to show off some of these kids' builds here. Uh, we've got a Hershey Kiss. So, you know, K, the letter was K, by the way, so Kiss. We've got Knockout, or KO. <sighs> Kayla's hard, yeah. <laughs> We've got a karaoke machine, which I thought was clever. We've got a kayak. We've got a kazoo, one of our younger builders. Uh, We've got a ketchup bottle, which uh, has the big H on there for Heinz. That was by Tessa. We've got a key from Grady. We've got a little kitchen from Aubrey. Oh, that was cute how she used all those pieces. Uh, we've got uh, another kitchen by Lily, using some of those French figs. Tons of food. Uh, we've got a kite from Caden, who's actually live with us right now. How's it going, Caden? Thanks for the submission. Uh, we've got another kite by Morgan. Uh, we've got kiwi by Emma. So it looks like a slice of kiwi from the top. We've got a knight from Patrick. And our final one is our Knights of the Round Table by Nathan. Um, so let us know uh, in the comments which ones you guys like. Uh, we already have our top three, but we're kind of curious what you guys like. So go ahead and take a look at these. Um, yeah, we have our KO from Gavin showing up right now. And our karaoke machine from Madison. Yeah, we got some really good ones. Like, like we said, we really love seeing all these builds. Uh, they've just been really impressive. It's Oh, they're using some parts and colors mm -hmm. and stuff. And yep. Some people are just throwing stuff together really quick, and then other people are thinking you could definitely tell the ones that are taking more time into it. I mean, the kiwi one, putting all those tiles on that plate. It's hard. Oh, my God. And I, feel bad for, I feel bad for that uh, the kiwi plate, too, trying to take all those uh, tiles off. Yeah. I, I really like the kiwi, the kiwi and the knight. Okay. Yeah, you know. That was cool. It was the first side. Bionicle entry, I right. think. So yeah. props, to, props to Bionicle. Yeah. Um, On a side note, I totally forgot that Lego made tacos because Deadpool loves tacos. So Lego Deadpool, tacos? yeah, you didn't see the taco on the little kiwi bill? No, in the corner? Oh, wait, oh, you're talking about the little tile? Yeah, it's a little corner tile. I don't know if I can, uh, you know what, I'm going to have to just pull it up separately here. Yeah, pull it up real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. So I was pointing out, it's like, oh man, they made tacos. So Oh, it is a little taco. I was like, oh it's man. Dope. I was like, I need a whole bunch of those, and I can make like a little taco That's cart cool. for my Deadpool mm -hmm. at home. Like, uh, like I just saw this whole, I just saw this video where he's like making a whole bunch of tacos in the kitchen, and then yeah. the Juggernaut crashes through, and I was like, oh my god! Like, unfortunately, I will say, Deadpool is not for kids. Yeah. Not don't for watch kids. it without any parental guidance. Don't watch it for kids. <laughs> yeah. Watch it when they're asleep. You don't get to watch it for a long time, sorry. Not yet. He's got like ten more years. <laughs> Maybe not ten years. But... It'll be close. I mean, he actually. Uh, 
I do want to say, I don't know if I got to say it or not the other day. Uh, you didn't say it on. yesterday. But uh, happy birthday to my son, Michael, at home. He just turned four a couple days ago. His little man um, is four. He's, he's, my, he's a little dude. He's, he's, my, he's my man. Um, and then my oldest over here turns 10 uh, next month. So he's got literally a week or a month left. Month, oh, actually, a month minus a day, huh? Sarah said T could be the next letter. We don't know. It's all random. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna try to give away anything away because we, we don't like doing that. Yeah. Um so anyway, um our top three choices. Let me see where I put it real quick. Our top three choices. Oops, let me get rid of that. Top three choices are the Kiwi from Emma, the Knights of the I put Knight, Knights of the Round Table. Oops, my bad. Um, Knights of the Round Table from Nathan or the KO from Gavin. So these are the three top three choices that we picked. Oh, come on, let me do it. Let me fix it. Yeah, Boom! That. Next yes. to the round table. Yay! Yeah, 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 fixed it. <laughs> um, so these are top three picks. Uh, we loved uh, the kiwi from Emma. I mean, it's a, like David said earlier. It's a lot of tile work. It's a lot of interesting um, color choices. You can see like the rind of the kiwi on the outside. Yeah, all um, the brown on the with outside. With all that delicious goodness on the inside. I love them because mm-hmm. they kind of taste like strawberry, but just a little bit different. They're not. T- it depends on where you get them from and like the ripeness of yeah. them. Because sometimes they could be kind of tart. Other times it's like perfect. And then we got, uh, we, got some, we got the Knights of the Round Table from Nathan, which he uh, used a bunch of Minecraft char- uh, characters. Which, it's basically like a whole Minecraft uh, Knights of the Round Table because you can tell it's, it's not rounded at all. It's just a yeah. big kind of square unit. And what was um, cool is all the does. figures were like armored up with a sword or yep, something. Yeah, diamond plates. They got uh, a bunch of cool. different pickaxes and swords and things. Yeah. And then uh, we've got this KO uh, knockout set uh, built by Gavin, uh, which we thought was really cool. It was very um, open, I guess you could say. Yeah. Which in, in most sense, in most cases, is probably a bad thing for Lego. But I mean, um, the nice thing is he he got the essence of the entire uh, boxing ring set up, um, and he used those spider webs as as you were talking to me about Dave, earlier, Dave, um, to to mimic the ropes for the uh, the outside. Um, yeah, and the way he like he brick built the ropes in it so you could it looks like they're already integrated as part of the brick so it was really cool and then it was cool it was like the minifig is like getting thrown back mm-hmm. so all, all three of these were really clever and there was a few other ones we liked there was a couple kites um there was a uh, karaoke box there was a couple that were really yeah, cool they were cool but i will say k, k was pretty hard i didn't i didn't even think hard. about it. i thought of a couple k's yesterday when we announced it but that was yeah. about it so but i uh i don't think i would have thought of the ko or the kiwi so i was kind of like ooh, that was really, yeah, really kiwi good was cool. i didn't uh, even think about that and the karaoke machine i was like, oh i didn't even think about <laughs> that like duh. So, our winner of our day 12 day 11 uh letter k you ready you want to do the drum roll do the drum roll here Nathan with the Knights of the Round Table. Congratulations, Nathan. Um, it was great. We loved it. Um, we had our uh, my son here was joining us for uh, for the vote. Um, and of course, what we do is he's a all, Minecraft fan too. We all pick so the top like three that. choices of, of everyone, um, and then uh, we take those top three. And essentially, if all three of us um, pick one. Then that's the automatic winner. If we pick two of them and have a tie, then we have to have a tiebreaker. Nick says he loves um, the kiwi. Nicholas loves the kiwi. I like the kiwi too. Kiwi um, I should have done did a Jade West brickhead from Victoria's because she because it was yesterday. Oh, okay. That would have been cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then uh, and then that's that uh, idea of our uh, competition here. We're gonna go ahead and show the adult builds. Um, once I get it. Oops, what happened here? Do, 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 do. Every day. I know, right? I can't even... <laughs> All right. It's rainy weather. Okay, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. We've got two photos of a uh, kaleidoscope that was sent in um, by Mary. So the first image was the inside. The second image is the outside. And very then colorful. Very. Uh... The, the second entry is a key by Dave. Um, so those were the only two entries. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and announce it now. Uh, the winner was Mary with a kaleidoscope. Um, it was, it was so well done. I love the fact that, uh, she went ahead and put all those details on the inside and then, uh, actually had a full length kaleidoscope that you had to look through. Yeah. I thought so it was, it was, cool. it was good was job, really Mary. Good. Uh, like when I saw the first photo, I was like, what are we looking at? I was like, oh, that's kaleidoscope. Cause all the, 
all the translucent tiles and stuff stacked up. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of cool. So it would have been really impressive if she made it where it like, twists. In the oh, process. yeah, and it would, it would, it would like, switch around. That'd that would have cool. been sweet for it to twist. I think though, she might like, have to get some technical involved, though. To, to but, yeah, congratulations computers. to Mary. Yeah. For so the Mary, Mary with the kaleidoscope, and then um, we got Nathan with the uh, the Knights of the Round Table. I so will say that key guys. was impressive. The key was good. Yeah, there were a couple of keys. Um, I liked them. They were good. Um, I got really not a whole lot to say about those. They were really good. K was a hard letter. I'm not gonna lie. It was. <laughs> but nobody said it was gonna be easy. You yeah. gotta do all 26. I mean, that's, yeah, that, that's I mean, the name of the game. We've only hit 12 letters so far, so it's like yep. we got a whole bunch more. Are you guys ready for the next one now? So I think Chris. Chris, yeah, Chris you is gonna. This time? Chris is gonna be is our guest today, so he's gonna spin our wheel, um, or of uh, Alpha Break Builds wheel here. We're down to. Right, so if you yeah, guys are ready, we're gonna spin. 14? 14? Like All right, Chris, yeah. go ahead. Spin the outside. There it goes. You can hear it. And the winning letter is. N. All for right. Nicholas. N. Letter N is our D12 letter. Um, so right. you have until 1 p.m. tomorrow, N Central N Time. Um, to get that into us. Yeah, 1 p.m. Um, they must be in on time. Uh, I, I prefer them via email if it's possible because we do get uh, messages a lot. Um, and sometimes uh, it gets kind of lost for the rest. Yeah, so I mean, if But either guys, way, it still works. But right. if you can email it to us, try to email it to us uh, at uh, Cresthill at bricksandminifigs.com. Yeah. Um, and try to take, if you can, try to take your photos sideways in landscape format if you're familiar with that. Uh, it'll help us out because uh, then we have to keep playing with the formats of our frames yeah. here in the, in the Yeah, screen. that's kind of so tricky when we're like horizontal. Like, it's, it's tricky yeah. when you're trying to flip them. Yeah. But yes, and even if you guys are working on them right now that we announced the next letter, which is N, take photos, send it to us tonight so we can have it, you know, before 1 o'clock tomorrow. And if you guys, you know, you have stuff going on in the morning, breakfast, maybe some other rituals you guys are doing at home as families and friends. But, you know, if you guys can get it to us by 1, as many as possible... <laughs> You know, awesome. That's what we want, and that's fine. Again, if you're working on them tonight, you get it done tonight. You know, just make sure we have them, and uh, we're we're loving them. So you keep them coming. Tell your friends, tell family, like somebody. I bet you there's other people you know who got Lego at home. Yeah, just give them just, a call. You know, see if they see if they want to compete right. with you guys. Have some just call them randomly. Be like, hey, how are you? Do you want to do this with me? Just t send me a photo, and I'll put it up for you, and that's it. All you gotta do. Because the more views, the more pictures we got, the more time we're going to have to view everything. And then the harder it's going to be to pick that winner. And, you know, we've run into a couple ties already. So it's like. Mm -hmm. A couple? <laughs> almost almost all, almost every letter so far has result, res, resulted in at least one tie. Um, and sometimes we've had to contact somebody <laughs> outside of the store just to make sure that, uh, you know, send them the photos and see who, who was the winner. So it gets kind of crazy. Uh, I was just posting up a couple links here so everybody has um, our email address and Brickworld's um, information information as well. And then uh, <laughs> Kurt says things. Madison already went to the basement to work on her net. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah, so um, again, our uh, our letter and our letter winners were Nathan uh, with his Knights of the Round Table for the kids uh, builds and then Mary with her kaleidoscope. Which, by the way, I mean, who would have thought Kayla would call us? But that's a long, crazy, one of those weird, goofy words. Um, and uh, so, congratulations to the winners. And then our letter um, for today was what again? Letter N. Letter N. All right. N is in as in and Nicholas. N is a no. As in um, nice. Yeah, nice, nice Nicholas. I know. As in new. Um, so it could be a lot of things. Um, just, uh, we do ask to try to make sure that it's something that we can relate to, that we could imagine what it was supposed to be like in, in real life. Um, we're okay with you coming up with your own kind of names, sort of, as long as it's, as long as it, it makes, makes sense. sense to us. So we could be like, Oh, I see why he or she did that. Yep. But you know, don't, don't and we're, build and we're kids at heart. So we, we, we understand yeah. the level of creativity and everything else. So right. We're, we're good. But um. I mean, <laughs> don't just think of a random, you know, N word or, a word or B word to go in front of it, you know, 
make sure it makes sense for us seeing it and you as a builder so you can be like, oh, yep. that's why I did this. So we could be like, oh, that's that's brilliant. Like, yeah, make sure make sure you like and share the streams um, as well. We always love seeing more people watching the videos. Um, so far, almost every video has gotten about 400, 500 views. Yeah, they've um, been rolling out pretty well. So, but I will say when we, when we when when we announced that Jessica was going to be on the show, it hit over eight thousand five hundred. Yes, people. so thank uh, so you. So thanks, that was guys. Awesome. That, was, that was awesome. Um, now, if only those views were like this every day, or at least yeah. half that every yep. day. Or if we can at least get uh, you know thirty or forty. Entries make it make it work harder. Right. Um, we might have to move the this up a little bit earlier and have a have a quicker deadline or something. Right. Yeah. Maybe like we won't have like enough time a, to go through them all. Maybe like a twelve thirty <laughs> instead of one. So that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Or okay. maybe maybe we start at three thirty so they can get it in by one thirty. You know. Mm-hmm. And uh, and don't and, and don't work. Don't think that you have to spend a, a ton of time no, detailing everything. No. We do love detailed builds, but sometimes simple is is what really gets Yeah, done, I mean, the, so. the, um, even like the jukebox the other day, the jukebox, the jukebox was good. Yeah, that was good. Um, the Kiwi yeah. is, is a fairly simple build, just using a lot of tile. So. Yeah, and I mean, she just shaped everything unique. together. I mean, a lot of the edges with the, the light green, lime green mm-hmm. corner tile was really cool, but that that was a, a lot more than she needed, but I mean, we can clearly tell it was a cut of a Kiwi, you know, the brown the, edging, the black for the seeds. So it was cool, but I mean, seeing the other tiles was cool because some of the the new printed stuff was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Especially for those of you, you know, getting dots that new line. Yeah, the new dots line. I mean, um, there's some pretty cool printed stuff. I've gotten a couple pieces of. I managed to get the Lego shop from Buddy, so I mean, I was like. You know, speaking of uh, speaking of uh, dots and everything else, and as soon as you said dots, I thought of Amy from Amy, Amy and Jamie. Amy actually was one of the designers and developers for the dots line. Um, but she's also the judge on Lego Masters. Um, but then that automatically tied me into when we talked to Jessica a couple of days ago. She actually has that piece of the Lego wall that Terry Crews broke. Um, so if you guys don't did, forgot or didn't see it, um, Jessica, uh, one of the contestants on Lego Masters, um, has an entire chunk like this the wall that he busted of, uh, through. of a card cardboard Lego wall that he busted through during the show, so it's kind of funny. It's like your little keepsake. She's like, that was guy. funny that she got to keep that piece. I mean, yep. a lot of times when people are doing TV shows and films, like it's it's not really proper for the actors, actresses, etc., to keep something mm-hmm. a prop essentially from the shows. But sometimes though. They'll get like a model of it to take home, not the real thing, because the real thing is way too expensive. But then, like, you know, it's really cool to see. So when she was showing that piece off, I was like, oh, okay. I, why would they say no to that? I mean, yeah. they were just going to toss that. Yeah. They were just going to toss that in the dumpster anyway. One person's so. trash is another person's treasure. Exactly. I tell you. Like, exactly. So, so I mean, that was cool that she was like, hey, hey. So anyway, uh, who's ready to see? Uh, Dave's got another mech build yep. uh, for us to see. He's been number showing four. off number four. Of six? Four of six right? for the yellow ones I was showing off. So uh, then, who's, uh, who's ready to see a new Mac from Dave? Well, let, let's show off Chris's first. Oh, I can I do it. He can do his afterwards. So you that way we can have people can ask questions. Because then I'm going gonna, gonna to need you to give him the headset. So I can, oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So cool. we're going to show Dave's first. And then Chris has uh, his own little uh, creation that he's uh, made. Upgraded. Uh, we helped him out with. We helped him out. A little bit. So uh, it looks pretty cool. I like it so far. It might might almost be done, but knowing Christopher, I might be doing a couple other things to it. So Lego um, upgrades are never done. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and uh, have a little uh, mech set. We, we need a, like a little graphic for your mech segment. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. <laughs> mech madness with Dave. We'll, we'll get into that. I was thinking about it last night and how I could do here on the stream, and then how I would like to do a class here. Mm-hmm. So we could talk oh, more about that later. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, and we actually, we're talking about it, we're probably going to do a little uh, Mac Q&A um, stream as well, um, so Dave can kind of get a couple of his parts of different Macs, different size Macs. Yeah, let me just double check um, something. And you guys can double quick. check uh, different things for it. What are you, what are you looking at? I'm making sure the photos <laughs> from <laughs> the last Macs went up. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, there were some people that had comments about it, the last ones. The, the what, was it a pic, was the last photos two robots I think together? Was, I think it was two. Okay, let me just check. I'm a um, so anyway, if you guys have any questions about Brickworld, about um, the bows from Jessica Ewood, um, or Ragsy X, as the art community knows her, um, if you got qu- questions about what we're doing here, about our online store, um, again, our online store is open right now. Um, so you can definitely get on there and check that out. It's uh, bamcresthill.com. 
ncrsilver.com. Uh, the link is in the description above. Those. Okay. Um, and I'll go ahead and post it again here. Uh, but we do have a lot of different sets on there. Actually, I think if this will let me do it, hopefully this won't go crazy. We're going to try this. Um, da, 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 da. Bear with me, guys. If you actually look on here, um, if we pull up in like Star Wars, for instance, there's a ton of different Star Wars sets on here that we just added. Um, with Y Wings, we've got A Wings. Um, we've got the ATSC Raider. If you guys are looking for the Mandalorian, it's the only way to get them right now uh, for Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. Um, prices are the same as they would be. Um, we don't have the, uh, any of the Millennium Falcons in right now. Unfortunately, they, they sold pretty quick. Um, but we do have some of the little microfighters and everything else, which I, I don't know why. Are we out of that microfighter already? The only microfighter we have in right is now the is the Y-Wing. Oh, yeah. Well, the other ones have okay. sold. We're, We're still waiting. Uh, um, so all of the them. inventory and everything else on there is live. There is no limits on how many you can buy unless you um, sell it out. Um, yep. We've got uh, you know a bunch of city sets on there, ranging all over the place. We've got creator sets. Uh, we threw a couple of our friend sets and Disney sets on there as well. Um, so there's a lot. There's a lot to be found there. Um, so okay, definitely go cool. check it out. If you guys have questions, let us know. Um, like I said, you can always call us here at the store. It's uh, 815-582-4220. Um, we answer the phone. If not, uh, you go right to our uh, voicemail, and we can get back to you. Um, or you, you can, can message us, and online. we'll get to you even faster. Yeah, you can message us on Facebook. Um, you can, um, But, yeah, go ahead and check out the online store. See what you like. If there's anything you would like to purchase, um, you can actually save your information on there. Um, it'll keep track of your uh, address information. Uh, so once we start shipping, you Kinda can check like that too. like our little profile. Yep. Uh, and then we also have uh, – it also keeps record of all your or online orders as well. Um, I will say, one, um, it does not do gift cards. So any, if you have a gift yeah, card from us, can't do unfortunately gift cards. right now, um, I presented it to them to fix. Uh, so the d designer engineers um, are working on that. Um, and two, your points do not count or will or accrue through the website. Right. Um, that is something that cannot be integrated right now. Um, we'll have to talk and see if we can do that manually for you um, because we do definitely want to, you to still get your points, especially right now. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll probably just go in manually if you manually have, if you have an account with we'll us Because we'll have record for it. Yeah. So. If, not, we'll, uh, if you haven't signed up already with us and are part of an email system and, and rewards program, I will go ahead and add you into that um, if you do make a new order that we haven't been here before. Um, so we'll definitely take care of you either way. So Okay. Uh, so, if you guys have any questions, let us know, uh, but we're going to get over to Dave and his, his mech builds here. So for those of you, I sent, I just put up the photos from yesterday's robots that I have, and then today I'm going to show you this one, and I'll take a photo and send that later so you guys are updated and got all the mechs that I've shown already. So this is my next one here. Really simple. There's really nothing too hype about it. This little cannon on the top here, and then I have it so you just fold out. That's yeah. cool. Nice little, like, almost katana blades. So I got some blades here. You're getting too close there. You're going to poke some eye out. Poke the camera's <laughs> eye out. Yeah, so like I said, this one's very similar to the other ones. And then if I want, I could take these off. And I so you got the little, the little the little T still on there. The little, uh, T yeah, there. I could put them <laughs> on the back here, and I could have wings on the back if I wanted to, too. Oh, that's a cool little transformation. Yeah. So, it's really simple, this one. Nothing too special. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit bulkier, but it's very it's almost the same build with the shoulders and feet like this. It's just got two different weapons to show. And then that sixth one, that's the one I've been kind of hyping up right now. And then I'll have a very special one after that. Okay. So keep looking forward to what I'm going to present. Uh, I'll take photos of this one and show this later. But like I said, and like I said yesterday, you know, don't mind this whole T. It's not really the letter T. It's just a visor, it's kind of representing the head for these when there's no person inside. I'm surprised you actually haven't put any people in those yet, Dave. Well, I don't have, I don't have the right aim soldiers I want in these. I could put the newer ones in because the colors still work with their new stuff, with the new sets that came out. Okay. So those figures will still work for here. But these that I'm bringing in to show you guys, they're all going to have a little funny minifig in there for the display. So each one is going to have a funny face that eventually is going to be part of our scavenger hunt. So definitely keep an eye on these guys because I'll have them here for the display and then there's going to be a funny little pilot in here with a goofy face that we're going to have to have you guys find. Uh oh. You're going to make people find stuff, Dave? 
Yeah, we're going to have a scavenger hunt once I put all these out. Plus, the rest of the robots that people present to us. I've already got quite a few here that are going to go into the display. So once we're back open and i got the display set, I want you guys to bring your robots in so I can put them in the shop. Okay. Come right into the display, fighting all these. Ugh. But just this reminder as well, I have a couple big ones I'm, I'm going to show. And those are going to be, I have like four I'm probably going to show you that are big. Um, one of them, well, two of them are actual Lego sets that I'm going to, that I mocked up a lot. Um, one of them, oh, you know what? No, I just remembered. Three out of the four big robots that I'm going to show you later ne next week. Okay. Um, are sets that I modified a lot. Um, one of them is an idea set. So I'll give you that hint. Okay. Rocket the idea sets. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, how many more robots do you have coming our way? So, let's see, I got two more yellow ones. One of them looks like this, the other one's the bigger one. And then I got one special robot that I've been talking about. That's the one with no head. There's a reason behind that. Then I think I have four or five after that, and that'll be the it for all my robots. So, we got another week's worth of robots okay. to show. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. We got we got two cameras going on now. See? We're working for you guys. We got some stuff going on. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. All right. So, Chris, are you ready to show everybody what you did? All right. So, I'm going to move. You're going to get the headphones. And then I'm going to put the robot on you and Dad. Have some fun here. You and Dad can talk about what you did and what I kind of helped you with. All right, bud? All right. Let's just go ahead and you know Here we go. All right. Chris is going to join us here. Chris, you good? Yeah. All right. If you, you can all hear Chris okay? Say, everybody say hi to Chris. Chris, say hi to everybody. Hi. Look over here. Look over here. <laughs> okay, so you want to show us what you got going on? So show me the I, things we talked about. I have... Go ahead. Uh, Lego robot that... Uh, Lego robot that... This is the first time I've streamed. It's okay. <laughs> You can turn it around. Pick it up and turn it. <laughs> so he's got a big, nice big jetpack on the back there. With, uh, was this, is this ratcheting? Oh, yep, yeah, ratcheting rings, wings. Right? Okay. I have a shield that has kind of like a sword. A spinning sword? Okay, check out this custom-built little mini gun. We actually just made it earlier, didn't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's got a, a nice little mini gun. It click, clicks in right to the bottom of his hand, so he's got a little carry for it. Um, Chris, want to show off the hand at all? Let's see if we get a good view here. Do, 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 do. So he's got all articulated fingers. With his, whole, his hand loads in the middle there. If you guys have any questions about uh, Christopher's mech at all, feel free to ask in the chat. Well, uh, he'll be happy to answer them for you. And then, uh, you, where did you get the shield from, Chris? I got the shield from one of the just bolt tables that we have. Oh, it's, it's one of, is it in a bulk table? Yeah. Really? See? We, we got some good parts in a bulk table, guys. Come on. <laughs> we even filled them up like right before all that crazy COVID-19 stuff happened and then it uh, they're like oh well then we have all this brick and nobody to sell it to so and once we open up come get some bulk <laughs> all right so we've got a nice little spinning shield over here which is cool we got a nice little uh, chest piece uh, looks like you finished it off too, pretty well too Chris I don't see too many studs anywhere well, actually I don't know if I see any studs anywhere do I ooh except for maybe the back does the back have studs on it Oh, just a couple. Look at that. He's got like eight studs down there in the black. It's kind of hard to see with the light. And then he's got a couple little ones on the sides there, which you could probably cover up if you wanted to. But beyond that, um, Christopher, I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, he's got a lot. He did this all by himself, by the way, except for the gun. Um, I helped him out with his uh, little uh, minigun earlier, um, thanks to some good Googling. Um, you never know what you can find when you search uh, Google Lego mech parts. Um, there's some really intense mechs out there, and actually there's a lot of games out there as well that are made um, for mechs. Are you taking it apart? Oh, we're some, showing off a, a little transformation he's got going on here. 
see all this crazy stuff he's got going on. Okay, so he's got a little sword hand. Can you do with the other one at the bottom too, or no? Mm -hmm. Like double double sword it? No, not really. Well, maybe maybe we sh should add that up if we open his hand, like open his fingers, like that. Maybe will that fit? See innovation, guys. Um, oh, Uncle Matt is watching. Chris, he says good job. How's it going, Matt? Hopefully you're doing okay up there. Um, with all the UP USPS stuff and everything else going on up there. Um, see, that works too, but I bet you could do that forward as well if you wanted to. So it looks like it's got a couple different like attack modes you can put it in, uh, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Um, <laughs> oh, what is, what is this? I'm trying to get a nice view of your thing here. His, his head opened up. That was kind of cool. You want to put his cheeks back down? Oh, what are you doing? What, do you have more transformations for this? He's getting crazy. He's turning it into a like golden ninja mech almost now. I'm like Ninjago. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Yeah, very samurai-esque. you got to do something more with the swords, I think, if you're going to go kind of samurai mode. That could be it, Chris. It could be a samurai mode for your robot. <laughs> But, no, I think I like this a lot. He did a great job. Um, Kurt says he likes the color combination. Where did you get the idea from for the uh, the white and the, the orange? I got the idea from... Oh, he's on the move. Which, by the way, while he's looking at that stuff, see, we've got some cool Star Wars sets back here. We've got the Slave One. We've got the new Millennium Falcon. It's going to be certified. We've got the UCS. Well, UCS. Um, Yoda that Dave's working on back there. Um, we've got a little A-Wing, we got all sorts of stuff. So, we're working on Up, oh, so there's the set. That's the original set. Um, so, most of the Mac looks like it was, was already made. Um, but Chris did some modifications to it with the, uh, with the guns, the knives, the swords, um, the head, the jet pack. He's, he kind of changed it all up a little bit. Um, so you can tell that the, the wings were, are almost like a carbon copy. But he went ahead and tiled it up, so you can see the the white tile and everything else there. Um, there you go. Versus, um, let's see if this will work. Versus all the uh, um, orange plating that's done on the original wings. So cool. I like it a lot, Chris. You did a good job, dude. So he's just one of many people that are doing these uh, these builds. We're gonna get two different double view here. Um, Two of these views, uh, you know, the different things that you can do with a regular set. Um, just because you have, um, just because you have a set at home, doesn't mean you can't tweak it a little bit and make it your own. So. Right. right. I mean, this, this is cool. Like that one is a cool three-in-one set. And Chef Chris. Chris. Thanks for showing that off, bud. Yes. Which, by the way, Chris's mech is about two and a half times the size of, of David's right now. But so. it's very similar color schemes to one of mine that I'll show you mm -hmm. later on next week. That's one of my mm -hmm. bigger ones. But I was telling Chris, this three-in-one set with the robot is a really good baseline for kids and other adults to do their own kind of robots. Like It's very simple. There's a lot of good parts in there that mm -hmm. you could use to mock up and do your own. So he didn't really do too much to it. Like When I came in, I was like, oh, dude, you got a mech? Sweet. And I was like, dude, you <laughs> could do this and that. Then I saw some of the photos they were looking at to build it, and I was like, those are awesome. All right. Yeah, some cool guns out there. Some cool Lego guns. Not real ones. Chris says he can't hear me. Um, are you still, oh, no, are you still muted? Did you mute yourself? I didn't even... Hold on, let me check here. Let's see. Check, check, check. I think they've turned themselves Hello, up. hello. There you go. I think you can hear now. Check. Hello. How about now? Alright. Yep. You guys should be able to hear Dave now. Can you guys hear me alright? Do I gotta repeat that? If you guys can hear me, throw a little like button. I also don't know if uh, if they heard Chris or not either then, depending on if uh, you muted it beforehand or not. Oh, uh, Chris says we're good. Did you, did okay, you guys cool. hear Christopher when he was talking earlier? I'm wondering if Dave hit the mute button on accident when he gave it to Chris. I didn't even, I didn't, I just handed it to him. <laughs> Oh, maybe Chris hit the mute button then. 
I don't know. He's used to that. Boop, boop. You gotta just love, be muted. Gotta love these Sony headsets, by the way. Sony, Sony for PS4s, PS3, S1, yeah, so Google you, headsets. So, like I was saying, if you guys come across little robots like that, that Chris was super quiet. Okay, okay. so yeah, so he probably, somehow you probably muted it before you gave it to him. So I, he was probably hearing it to me. I don't know, maybe. Maybe he adjusted it and then... I don't know. Well, as long as you guys can hear us, okay now. We're good. <laughs> yeah, Chris did a good job with his upgrade, so I was happy to see it. And yep. They had fun building it this morning, so... Yeah, if you guys really have any cool. questions at all about things that are going on uh, with us, uh, again, uh, our online e-store is, is available right now. It's uh, bamcresthill.ncrsilver, or myncrsilver.com. Um, hopefully I got that right earlier. Um and you guys can check out the website. It is up and running. Uh, we do have about 60 to 80 different products on there um, right now. And then we are working on getting a bunch of other things to you guys soon. Dave and I are actually going to be working here. I'll be here uh, at the store probably till about 7 or 8 o'clock, um, depending on when I have to go drive Chris back home real quick. But um, I'll be here for most of the day, most of the night, um, getting some stuff done, getting some more Speed Champions and other sets posted up. Dave might be with me for a little while, too. Um, so we're definitely going to be busy <laughs> to say the least i think um chris is still working on his mac da, da, da. um <laughs> he's adding red now apparently um so yeah uh if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to see anything else uh on the stream let us know if you want dave and i to maybe do a build off or something one of these days let us know we can try to pick a set and see if we can build it faster or um i don't know maybe do a build in a bag that was kind of fun at brickboard last year you have to like have it in a bag and build it while it's inside the bag. Uh, or maybe some maybe a minifig building competition. Who could build the most minifigs in forty seconds or something like that? Or maybe a minute. <laughs> you act like you got it, but I, I think I can take you. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, we had Nathan that won the kids competition today. We had Mary um, who took the uh, adult competition today with the kaleidoscope, and then uh, we picked N. N. Actually, for you guys, I guess it's this. Uh, <laughs> wait, uh, 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 wait, I don't, I don't, I can't even do it now, um, because it's backwards. Um, but uh, so letter is N for tomorrow. Uh, due in by one one o'clock p.m. Central Time. Uh, one must be on time. If it is, I would say maybe a five minute leeway. If it's more than five minutes late, you're out. Yeah, yeah. Because um, we just we just can't do it. We, we understand there's rolling. internet lag. Yeah. There's just a lot of stuff we gotta do. <laughs> of all people, we know there's internet lag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm of course rocking the Knights of the Old Republic Star Wars shirt today. And Dave looks like he's rocking some some OG oh, Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Ninja, 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 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's my uh, squad. <laughs> That's one up. I don't want to actually throw something up. Yeah, um, don't do that. <laughs> but uh, whole shutdown. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> we will be right back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not gonna do that. Um, let's get this back here. Boop, boop. So, um, yeah. So we're we're at least in another about a week or so. Um, Mm -hmm. Under mandatory uh, shelter in place right now, possibly longer, depending on what the, the governor and our lovely probably um, longer Illinois politicians say. Um, but do side, say go ahead. on the plus side, we did hear about those uh, those uh, was it the refill checks or whatever. Oh yeah, well hopefully hopefully everything gets approved and everything. Well, else as of last, supposed to be today or last yeah, night. as of last night. Uh, I think it was last night. Yeah, they were supposed to be Friday. They were pretty much set. So for those of you who are struggling, such as myself. Um, and myself. Who's not getting a paycheck <laughs> and such. Um, look forward to that. Uh, don't bank on it too much, though. But, uh, yeah. Put some money coming, hopefully. But I, I don't think it's going to be. probably going to be like two, three weeks before weeks, we yeah. get it. But a lot of people said it was either going to be mailed out or direct deposit if you did your taxes. But you had to have done your taxes. Right. You, you had did to not file your taxes. A, shame on you. Um, Do it right now because you got. <laughs> Three months ahead, dead time. So. Well, no, it doesn't matter because it's off of last year's taxes. Oh, that's right. So you must have already, yeah, I've already filed them. If not, you don't get anything. Yeah, Sorry. and then there's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch of things of like the criteria, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like, okay, that's great. I mean, I'm looking forward to when it pops up in my bank account. But I mean, considering it's gonna be gone as soon as it's in there, because you know, we got bills to pay. Yep, we all got bills to pay. We all know that. Uh, it's sometimes too real. Um, but yeah, so make sure you guys are having fun with, uh, your kiddos at home. Um, keep them busy with these builds. We, we're trying to get you guys, um, as many different options as possible. 
Um, looks like Chris. These robots all else. red now. It's gonna kill all humans. Oh, it's an evil. It's an evil. Ro oh, sorry. Ugh. You get you get a you get an evil robot version now. So he's got a almost like an Iron Giant transformation. <laughs> Remember when his eyes turned red and just started like blasting everybody? He's got me oh, a I point. Don't your, I don't want your chin in there. Ah, oh, he's down. Man down. That's what he get. No. What's up with his feet, Chris? Why? What? I need There's... so much attached to his the base there. I guess he's trying to build like a little stand for him. Don't do it. I got it. He's done. <laughs> See, he's done. I already snapped. All right. So anyway, um, make sure you guys are building at home. Make sure you guys get those submissions in. Um, you know, we're trying to get as much as many different things to you guys as possible to keep you busy at home. Um, you know, start learning different methods. Maybe try something new. If you have never uh, built Technic before, maybe try building Technic or Bionicle. Um, you know, throw some Bionicle parts in there. Um, if you're not familiar with Bionicle, it's um, basically Lego bricks, but it has big. Most of it has big ball joints. A lot of ball um, joints. A lot of Technic. Where they snap in together. Um, and then, yeah, a lot of Technic pins and Technic related parts, as well as Bionicle was a Technic line. Um, Caden, the letter uh, that we announced earlier was letter N. Um, I don't know if it's going to show up on there. Um, letter. Let's see. I'm I'm typing on my phone because the online chat is a little too slow. Okay, there we go. So the letter is N. N is in Nancy. That's a nice, uh, nice, nice Lego. <laughs> mm -hmm. Awesome. So thank you, everybody. Thanks for everybody for watching. Make sure you guys like, uh, like and share this uh, video with as many people as you can. Check out our YouTube page, our YouTube channel. Sorry. Like it, subscribe um, it, tell people. Bricks Minute Vicks Crest Hill. It's great. Check it there. Uh, this video, will, along with all of our old ones, will be posted up there as well. I think I have to tweak the one from Jessica's thing still. Yeah, that was going to need some tweaking. Um, or maybe we'll just post it up as, you know, just learning experience. Day, <laughs> day 10, you know. Clickbait. Um, <laughs> 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 um, so, yeah, so we, we always have a great time coming to you guys live. Um, you know, it's only typically a little hour show, uh, but about three or four hours goes into every day just trying to go through um, all the audio setup, make sure everything's still working. So we yeah, can so finally we find a nice We definitely range. understand, you know, those other hard workers, lifetime YouTubers and such who yep. do this on a daily. So we get it. We're we're definitely understanding the struggle. Yeah, we well, it. I will say I think a lot of the streamers and stuff that stream obviously don't have a lot of these cool overlays that we have, like, you know, um, down here and over here like and over thing, there. And like that this thing, thing and this. And those. Um, and the and they usually just stream right from their phones. So we right. Usually the phone's a better quality because well, they, got, um, they got cameras on a tripod and everything. Yeah, like, a lot of a lot of our uh, a lot of our cameras now can do 4K and everything else too. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if you're gonna spend twelve hundred dollars on a phone versus a what fifty dollar camera, I'd expect to do a lot more too. So um, yeah, maybe eventually maybe it'll be better if we could somehow mount our camera up to our phone and, and <laughs> there. I don't know. Whoop, um, right there. But uh, we always love bringing you guys you know this daily content and and let, letting you guys have some fun with us. Hang out, you know, hang out with each other socially uh, versus social media, which I think is actually kind of funny because, you know, with social media being blown up when everybody's out and about, you know, whenever it's crammed in their house, nobody talks to each other. Right. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's literally the Stay exact purpose to apart, have. Huh? Right. To six have, feet apart, um, yet you're crammed in a house with everybody? You know, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, et cetera, is to, to talk to people and everything else. And, and right now, whenever it's cooped up, why aren't you guys using it? There's so many people out there Dude, that I, don't I use it. I've seen a bunch of people having, like, six different people on their screen and they're all just talking from yeah. their houses yeah. and stuff. I was like, that's sweet. Yeah, family meetings and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys want, uh, we do have an Instagram channel as well. You can find us on Instagram, Bam Crest Hill. Um, we're on there as well. Um, always post up random photos and stuff like that too, sharing things. Um, you know what? I don't know if I, I had a really funny picture. I don't know if it's on here. No, I think it's on my phone. Um, hold on. I got to find, I got to find this photo for you. It was, it was sent to us. I think it was hilarious. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yesterday when they're like uh, need a laugh or something. Yes, yes, it was. Yeah. It was funny. Um, I'm gonna try to find it here because I want to share. Um, I didn't get to see the photo, so. No. No, I heard you laugh about it, and I saw the message, but I never opened the message to see the photo. And be like, haha, that's funny. Uh, there it is. Yeah, one second. We're gonna pull it up right. right now. Da, 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 da. Oh so, yeah, that. Okay. So if you haven't seen it yet, it's this little. Just. To break. Oh, I can't get it to adjust. Anyway, um, if you can see it at all, it's a it's a little minifigure, and it says, "Don't forget to wash your hands." And his hands are literally in a little Lego, um, 
the Lego just wa our Lego uh, washing machine, which I think is hilarious. So um, I do want to say thank you. I forgot who it was right now, but thank you for sending that to us. It was great. Uh, it was it got it got me a good laugh. Um, but yeah, so we will see you guys tomorrow, three o'clock uh, Central Time. Three o'clock. Uh, Dave will be here with me again. I think Dave, are you coming in tomorrow? Same Dave time. Same same bad time. Same, same bad time. Channel. Yeah. I guess we should call it same Bam time. Same Bam channel. Um, I don't think Chris is going to join us tomorrow, but he'll probably want to. Um, and who knows? Maybe one of our other uh, awesome employees that are that are stuck at home decides they want to kind of venture out tomorrow. Yeah, you know, um, you can leave. You shout, can shout, come out to, uh, shout out to uh, Riley, Riley and Andrew, Andrew and Becca, and Becca at home. Uh, Becca joined us yesterday during the well, But we get it too. Like you guys Props. have schoolwork and whatever else going on, so we get it. I, th oh, I think their school starts today, if I remember right. Because they they had like a couple weeks off, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, our classes are going to start online at the end of the month." It was weird. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't speak for them. I. I, I luckily have been out of school for a while, um, and even though I might not, go back, I might go back for some. I might go back for some uh, business or marketing classes and see how that goes. Um, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to let us know. Um, you know, we always take um, your input, whether our, our audio and stuff is too bad or if we're kind of choppy. Um, hopefully, from what I can read on my screen here, we haven't lost any any frames at all today, which is awesome. It's the first time we haven't lost a single frame. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, don't worry, I don't have the virus. It's just a dust cough. Um, and, uh, you know, we're trying to make sure that the store is being maintained over here, keep it clean, and um, and ready for you guys to come back to see us. <laughs> you haven't way too much fun with that arm. I don't know why you have a, a hand. You want me to make a sword? Oh, I have to yeah. make a sword. Ha -ha. It's, it's like a Voltron sword now. It's um, a dual blade. So, anyway. Uh, Letter of the day is going to be end for tomorrow. Uh, Dave and I are going to join you guys live at 3 o'clock. We will see you then. If you have any questions or anything in the meantime, feel free to call us at the store. Um, check out our online e-store um, that was, uh, was posted yeah. above. And then uh, our YouTube channel as well. We're going to keep all of our videos up there, too. We like and subscribe on there. Um, we're trying to get 1,000 subscribers on our yes. YouTube channel before Brickworld so we can um, stream live from our phone. Um, mm -hmm. So that way we can get a little more mobile, uh, maybe do some spot interviews with... Uh, some of our other possible Lego Masters contestants that are there. Other and builders. just some other people we know out in Brickworld. Yeah, there's so. a lot of people from Lego, by the way. If you haven't been to Brickworld, um, there's a lot of uh, designers. Um, CEOs, all over the world. Um, they come up from all over the world for Lego. Um, and you get to talk to them, hang out with them, answer answer questions. You get it, or ask time. questions to be answered. Um, yeah, so help us get to that thousand. Because if we can get to that thousand, we can interview all kinds of people everywhere. Yep. It'll be, be out, out on the daily. And maybe, we'll, hey. maybe we'll have two or three different YouTube channels all at the same time interviewing each other. It's like a group. You know, we get together with uh, m &R Productions and Solid Brick Studios or some, some of them guys. And, yeah, that's going to be a lot. Some fun. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, figure it out. Um, we're going to let you guys go. We'll, we'll catch you guys again at 3 o'clock tomorrow. If you guys have any questions or anything, call us here at the store. Uh, message us on Facebook. Email us, whatever you need to do. Um, we're here, uh, and we'll, we'll always respond back, usually within about five minutes. So it's, yes. it's pretty quick. So you guys enjoy your night. Have a good Saturday. And we'll see you later. Stop wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off and fly